well hello there my beautiful people and welcome back to the channel this is your girl sherry ann for those of you who are tuning into this channel for the first time i welcome you to the channel and i welcome you also to this family so guys i am here as usual with another prophetic word for you from god um, and he is speaking to someone today. Um, guys, this word is not for everyone. You know, I have been receiving comments, messages from you pertaining to prophetic words. I just want to let you know that please, 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 not every prophetic word is meant for you. The word should resonate in your spirit or it should be a confirmation to what God have already spoken to you about. Even though it is a confirmation, even though it resonates in your spirit, I still encourage you to take it before the Lord. You know, God wants to speak to you individually. I don't have the full picture, you know, God gave me in parts. And so that's your opportunity to go before the Lord, speak to him, have a conversation with him. You know, God wants to speak to you. He speaks, you know, just be in tune with the spirit. Hear what he is saying to you individually. So guys, let's get into the word. I have a great word for someone today. Um, you know, God is saying to you today that he is about to open doors for you that no one can close. And he is about to close doors that no one can open. based off of a dream a prophetic dream that God have given to me Friday and Saturday and before I get into the dream you know God give me this scripture and it's from Revelations 3 Revelation sorry 3 verses 7 and I'm going to read 7 and 8 and it reads this is the message from the one who is holy and true the one who has the key of David. What he opens, no one can close. And what he closes, no one can open. I know all the things you do. And I have opened a door for you that no one can close. You have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. So God is saying that he is about to open a door for someone today. And he is saying to, you know, try not to do it in your strength. He is going to help you. He is going to open this door for you. He says that he is going to open doors that no one can close. And he is going to close doors that no one can open. Um... And God is also saying to you, he has brought you out of certain situations and you are going backwards. You are going back into what he has taken you out of. You know, he is, want to do some, he is wanting to do something new for you and you are going backwards. So um, on Friday, God gave me a dream. And in this dream, you know, I was in a car with my brother and uh, he was about to park in his um parking space and uh, he was going backwards it was like a cart road a long cart road and he was you know trying to reverse in his parking space and I'm saying to him, but why are you reversing? You could have just drove the car in and just turn it around. Why are you going backwards? And, you know, and there the dream went to another scene. And I was upstairs at his door about to enter, you know, his apartment. And he had keys in his hand. He unlocked his apartment door. And he was trying to go into his apartment. Well, we were trying to go into his apartment. And so he banged on the door and he kicked the door. And I'm like, what are you doing? 
and he's trying to tug in the door and this door would not open it seemed like a metal door a heavy one of those heavy steel metal doors i don't know but he was pulling at it and he was pulling at it trying to open the door and the door would not open guys he kicked it and guys there the dream ended and i woke from this dream um i think about three o'clock i prayed and i said you know lord give me a word and so he gave me that dream and i you know when i woke from the dream i knew you know what god was saying to me um i knew it was a word for someone i thought it was a for only a male and you know i was questioning god on friday you know is this word only for for a male and you know god on saturday he took me back to a dream similar dream you know i was this time on a porch looking over and i saw this lady in a small small car and she was reversing this this car with such speed i mean she was going crazy reversing this car and i'm like oh my gosh you know you're gonna crash and she slightly went into a ditch and guys there the dream ended so with these two dreams god is saying to someone today that he had brought you out of a situation i don't know what situation this is this could be a relationship you know god have brought you out of a relationship that you were not meant to be in you know he have brought you out of this relationship and you are going back into that relationship this could be in terms of a uh, friendship you know he have brought you out of this friendship he have opened new doors for you for new friendships and you're going back into back to the same old people you know this could be in terms of a job god wants to give you something better he has something better for you but you are keep wanting to go back to that job that he had brought you out of and god is saying to you today that he has better for you he have opened doors before you and so he is saying not to go back um in pertaining to the door you know my brother was you know he had the keys in his hand to this door and every time he gets to this door he always have trouble opening the door and you know i was telling him you have to get the situation um with your landlord you can't be coming to this door coming home every single day and having problems opening this door so god is saying to someone today that he have given you the keys he have set the keys before you to this open door and you know he is saying that rely on him forget about the enemy the enemy cannot stop what god is about to do in your life he is saying that new doors, new opportunities are open. You're trying to open this door with all your strength. You know, he have given you the keys. He have set the keys before you. He have set the door before you. And you are trying to open this door in, in your own strength. And God is saying too that he is given, he have given you the tools. You know do not rely on your own strength rely on him go before the lord and allow him to you know give you specific directions to this open door that he has set before you if you have to go into a pray and fast go ahead and do so allow the lord to speak to you specifically you know about this open door that you are having difficulties every time you get to this door you know trying to open so i release and i decree and declare that this door that you are having problems opening that god is have already opened the door for you i decree and declare that this door is open in the name of jesus i decree and i release the open door and i decree and declare it is open in the mighty name of jesus god says in his word you know the doors that he have opened no one can close and the doors that he have closed no man can open so i decree and declare that open doors 
in this season are set before you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I decree and declare that the doors have been opened in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every enemy that doesn't want this door to open, we command it to go in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that I've set before that door, we cut it off in the mighty name of Jesus and release the blessings of God. We decree and declare that that door is open in the mighty name of Jesus. So guys, that is the word, you know, God loves us with an everlasting love. His plan, his purpose is to see us go forward, is to see us live a, a prosperous and a blessed life on earth. So, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. I love you. God loves you with an everlasting love. Have a wonderful week and may God bless you. Until my next video, stay tuned. See you in my next one. Bye.